Millions of mayflies are making a mess in Portland. The annual hatch from Lake Erie landed a swarm on the shoreline. New at 5, 13 X News reporter Tony Gepta shows us the cleanup and why it may have been so bad. Tony. Christian Diane, the mayor of Port Clinton, tells me Toledo Edison turns off the street lights one by one to keep the mayflies away. And this year, he says, they were one day too late. This may look like yard waste. Oh, we've lived here for about two years. It's actually piles of dead mayflies. This would probably be the worst year of the mayflies for us anyway. Over the past few days, the insects that hatch from Lake Erie descended on Port Clinton. It prompted Blake Wellman to buy a bug blower to clear them off his shop, Nutrition by the Lake. Came up here and just helping the neighbors out. So yeah. came over, helped the coffee shop, helped a couple of our other neighbors out all the way down the street. Just kind of clear out some of these mayflies for them. Around the corner on Madison. My wife likes to call them a tequila worm with wings. Billy Rigoni, the owner of Northern Exposure Candle Company, took it one step further. I think when you live here, you, you just get used to them. He rolled out his plow to scoop the dead mayflies off the sidewalk. This is the first time. They were a couple inches thick. The blower wasn't cutting it. Sunday night, that was probably the worst swarm we've seen in, in quite some time. Yeah. It, it, they invaded by the trillions. Mike Snyder is the mayor of Port Clinton. He says charter boat captains let the city know when the hatch happens on the lake. Then the city contacts First Energy and workers turn off the street lights, which attract the mayflies. Unfortunately, we missed it by one day. Uh, First Energy was out. Uh, they started the 28th of, of May, turning off all the street lights. Finished yesterday, one day shy of what we really needed, but you know, they actually physically have to go to every street light and manually unscrew the light bulb. On the plus side, this bug boom appears to have peaked. It's a good sign, though. It means the lake is healthy. And the cleanup is clearing the way. The shops are still open. Restaurants are still here. The beaches are still great. For the rest of summer. Now, if you're not familiar with mayflies, they don't have mouths, so they don't bite. They also don't have stingers. And as you saw, they don't live for very long. They just leave behind a mess. Diane? All right, Tony. Thanks so much.